Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Seacoon here and I'm coming at you with my top 5 pickups of 2015 since we're getting to the end of the year. I hope you all had a good holiday and I hope you subscribe to Triple Threat Kicks to keep up to date for our next year in 2016 of showing you all the shoes I get and just what I think about them as well as sneaker news and NBA news. Um, so getting into this best top five shoes, I, in my opinion, of this year, um, I picked up about 20 shoes. I think I counted 20 or 19 shoes this year. So to narrow it down to five, honestly, for me, it wasn't that hard because there there was about six or seven shoes that were like, I've been wanting for a while and I got them. So they had to come out this year. So, I hope you like my list, and let's get right into it, okay guys? Okay, so number five, I went with the Chris Paul Jordan 13 that released, um, I already forgot when it was. I want to say it was in November, that's what it was. And the quality is on point. I'll admit the craftsmanship is not on point, at least for my pair. It, I looked at other people's online, and... Nobody else seemed to have too much of a problem except for me, but yeah, this was a shoe that came out of nowhere for me that I wasn't even planning on getting, but I'm glad I did, and it's just something that 10 years from now I'm going to be really happy that I got these still, um, being that there's not too many PEs that Jordan Brand releases out there than um, non-retros and stuff like that. So. That is my number five, the Jordan 13 Chris Paul PE in the Hornets colorway. So let's get into number four. All right, my number four for top pickups of 2015 was the Jordan 1 UNC uh, OG colorway with Nike Air on the tongue. This was one of the shoes that um, I've always thought that they should retro and make an one with Nike Air and make it a high and I knew it was an original colorway and I always thought they should do that because if you don't know already and you can tell the color of this room and the other shoes that I have I'm a big fan of North Carolina shoes and North Carolina the school in general so this was a no-brainer for me and to see that it was actually gonna come out this year I was really excited and I was able to get them eventually so not much to say about this shoe. It's a pretty comfortable shoe considering it's a flat soled shoe, but it is pretty comfortable for a retro. So that's my number four. And then let's get into my number three. All right, my number three is none other than the Adidas Ultra Boost in all white. Um, this is a shoe that I feel like everyone in the sneaker community has at least one pair of and for a good reason. Uh, as you can see, I switched laces because I got these for Christmas, these laces, and it gives it that holiday vibe. So, um, has that 3M on it too, you'll see in the B-roll, but anyways, getting to the shoe, being that I think there is a huge hype behind the Kanye thing, no doubt on these, I believe, but the fact that, the thing that drew me to these a lot as well is that the boost in general doesn't go very well with anything considering it's always white and it's always just the shape of it always looks kind of weird but when they I always thought that it would look really clean all white with something and they did that with these and I think that's what also keeps people interested in on these shoes and the fact that Kanye wore them as well just it added to them and I can't help but say that this is one of my top pickups and it's one of those shoes that I'm really glad I got and that if it wasn't all white I'd wear constantly like every day if I could. So that's my number three and let's get into my number two pickup. Alright so my number two pickup if you know me well and you've seen the trend that I'm going in with this pickups and what I've been picking up you already know that this is going to be the Vans Old School Pro. Golf Wing, Vitaly the Creator, 
and for good reason, in my opinion. Uh, always wanted to golf Wang Shu, huge fan of Tyler the Creator, and really, it's really hard to find shoes like this on a secondary market. Like, I honestly would be willing to pay resale if I could just find these in my size, but it's really hard to find them. Um, these you could find on eBay for right after the release, but I just recently checked because uh, as you'll see, I've worn these a lot and they're getting dirty and I wanted to get a second pair, but they're still really hard to find, especially in my size, 11 and a half to be exact. And yeah, um, a lot of people were turned off by this collection compared to the other collections because there's a lot more happening on this with the checkerboard and it's not just one solid color or two solid colors, but I didn't, I thought, I felt that way at first, but once you get these in hand, you'll really appreciate them, I believe. And these are a lot more comfortable than most fans with the suede on the toe because it doesn't bend and like warp on your foot where it hurts, where it's like bending into your foot. It doesn't do that with these. And just all the little details with the stitching on the back, the tag on the tongue, and the insole, it's just, it was a perfect shoe for me and I'm really glad I got these. This is a very, it was a must for me. So lastly, let's get into my number one shoe, which you guys probably already know. All right, my number one shoe for 2015 that I picked up, you probably already know since you haven't seen it yet and you know it would not be in the top five, is the Jordan 10 OVO. Um, being a huge Drake fan, this is a must, and I'm just so happy I got these. Um, especially because I would have, like two or three years ago when we started seeing the PEs of these, I would have never thought that I would have been able to get a pair of these. At least, and especially for, to even know that they're going to release, I would have never known. Um, just huge Drake fan, and obviously there's hype to these, but I can't help but go into it because... I mean, being a fan of him, it's like I can't pass it up. And hopefully when the black pair comes out, I'll get those too, because even though I love these a lot, it's impossible to wear them because I'm just so scared of getting them dirty because of the fact that getting another pair of these is gonna cost me a lot. So this is my number one shoe of 2015. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, more to come for our channel. Hopefully we can get another top five of Brad's shoes onto the channel as well and yeah just be on the lookout for more videos guys i'll keep you guys up to date with more content as soon as possible so without further ado this is Seekun from triple threat kicks and i'm out guys peace <laughs>